Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronics Fix. We've had some time to play with Sony's new VR headset, but now the playing's done, it's time to tear it down. So the first thing we'll want to do is remove this rubber, it's basically a rubber light blocker and it helps block the light out from around your eyes and that sort of thing. And we just carefully tug on these small rubber, they're kind of like rubber pins that go inside here. So you can see the hole there and you can see the rubber pin right there. So you just give those a tug and they just pop right off of there. It's actually fairly easy to remove. You can hear them just popping off as I go. And there we go. So that is the light blocker. Now we've got to remove this screw and then remove that screw and then the same two over here. So that's what we're going to do next. Now these screws are a special type of a screw called JIS. It's kind of like a, a Japanese Phillips screw. And usually you can find a Phillips that'll work as well. But if you wanted to use the correct one, you can usually find these in any of the, you know, the repair or the tool kits that have all the different, um, all the different sizes of the small, screwdrivers so when i know for sure you know if you go to a place like ifixit.com that's where we have gotten multiple tool kits from okay now those screws are removed so we're going to remove this plastic trim piece you can see it just pulls off and then we'll also remove this plastic trim piece and that one pulls off as well now these plastic trim pieces are removed now we have this one right in the middle. We're gonna remove that one next. Okay, and that one is removed. The next thing we're gonna do is take off this plastic trim piece. So we're just gonna get our plastic opening tool in here. We're gonna pry that off. Now there is a piece of adhesive right here. So that's gonna, that's gonna be a little bit harder to get off. We're just gonna carefully pull it off though and then just another plastic clip over on this edge over here and another piece of adhesive. So there is actually a piece of adhesive right here, right here, and one in the middle. Now I'm actually going to push this one in the middle back down approximately where it was so then it's right about how it should be for when we're, we're ready for reassembly. Now we remove this bottom trim piece. Same idea as the top, there is adhesive located on this trim piece as well, on each side and in the middle. And now that trim piece is removed. Now we'll be able to move this front, sh this front shield. There is some adhesive on this as well. Then we just dislodge the plastic clips. You can see the adhesive right there. We're gonna break that part of the adhesive off. And then just make sure that it's not getting adhesive on anything else that we don't want it to. Okay, so the bottom is pretty well dislodged. Turn it over and get to the top. Now that the bottom is dislodged, we can go ahead and take the screws out of the front. You could take, you could do this part first or last or whatever you want to do. Obviously, you just want to make sure they're out before you try and remove the entire thing. Now that the screws are out of there, we can go with our plastic pry tool and just pry it off enough to get it out of there. And now just remove this slowly. Make sure you don't lose your screws, of course. And then we'll set that aside. Here we have the LED array. Now, what we have to do here is take off these silver screws and these silver screws down here. And that's gonna get us to the place where we can remove the entire LED array assembly. 
Now that the screws are out, we just have these clips right here that hold this array on. And then there's just little clips that slide up and down on here. We're gonna remove this ribbon cable. So we pull up on the clip and then just wiggle it back and forth and that gets that part out. We just pull down on this tab right here and then we're gonna low remove the bottom. And this is the LED array. It looks like we didn't have to remove that top part there, that can stay up there. So we'll make sure that's how it should be. So this is the LED array. So you've got LEDs on each of these sections. And these are the LEDs that track your head movement that the PlayStation 4 camera uses to track your head movement. So these ribbon cables, when we put it back together, together we'll need to make sure all these ribbon cables are seated correctly. Now we basically have the motherboard, and then we also are gonna be able to get to the actual screen. So what we'll need to, to do to remove this front piece from the rest of the headset is remove these two screws, and then re also remove the cable connections. So we're gonna do the screws first. And there's only two on the top, and that will enable us to remove it from the rest of the headset. And now we'll remove the cables. Now there is this large metal shield right here shielding this cable. So we do need to remove that. There is just that one screw and then that comes off. Now we can remove this cable. This cable is similar to display cables for things like MacBook Pros and stuff like that. Um, there is just a metal piece we slide over to remove that. And then we do also have this copper piece that has some adhesive on this motherboard. So we're gonna carefully peel that up. There we go. And now this cable will slide out like that. Now, if you're taking this apart, you're gonna to wanna to note the routing of the cable. Now, it goes through a section right here, and then under this, and around this, and then down through here. So, that is what it looks like when it is, before you've taken it off. So we do need to make a note of that for when we do reinstall it into the headset. Now we just have this small cable that goes back to the LEDs in the rear of the headset. In this cable connector, we just grab with our fingers and just wiggle and pull up. And also pay attention to the routing on that. Now that that is free, we're gonna use our button down here and press on the button and then just pull this forward. And our front piece is free now. The next thing we're gonna remove is the motherboard itself. It's got some screws on it and some cables, so we're gonna take the screws off first and then get to the cables. The screws are off. It looks to be just those two, so now we'll remove these cables. Now we don't really need to pay attention to which, connect to which connectors these cables go to because they're all a different size. This connector has a nice, this cable has a nice pull tab, make it easy to get off. Now I can feel the motherboard is loose, so I'm gonna pull down on that tab, and then we'll pull it out. There we go. So here we have the motherboard for the PS4 VR headset, it is quite tiny. So what we have on this motherboard is it's got some LED drivers, it's got on this side, it's got the Toshiba HDMI interface chip and that sort of thing. It also has an audio controller up here as well as what seems to be a power supply module for the display itself. So this is a small part, but obviously it has some very important parts for running your headset. 
So let's take a look at the headset display. Now the display looks like it comes out as kind of a whole piece with this plastic part in here. It's got, it looks like four screws and then I think that just removes the whole entire assembly here. So we're gonna remove those screws next and pull out the display. One thing to keep in mind if you attempt this repair or attempt this disassembly is you do have to be super careful when you pull this out as it's gonna be just a, a clean display and dust is gonna be attracted to it. So you wanna have this out of the headset as little time as possible. So we're gonna remove the clips left on it and then we're gonna pull it out and we're gonna give you guys a view of it and then put it back in. We do have to deroute this speaker cable so it's out of the way. Now there's a clip on this side and there's a clip on this side. And now the display is ready to be removed. So we will carefully pull it up. Like this. And there is the AMOLED display. The AMOLED display is basically made for faster firing of the pixels. You can have a look, close look of the display. And I don't know if you can see it on the screen, there is a, a split kind of right here that you can see there is two split screens for this display. Now we're gonna go ahead and just put it back in because we don't wanna get any dust on it. I do wanna show you guys though, there is a seal right here, a rubber seal to help keep the inside of this dust free. But we are gonna go ahead and put it back in now just to make sure that we don't get any dust in here. So we're gonna move this metal connector out of the way. We're gonna slide this back up here. and then slide it back into place. And you could hear the clips re-engage. So there we have the PS4 VR headset torn down, gives you, an, gives you guys an idea of what it looks like and what's all included in this VR headset. And now it's time to get it put back together. Thanks for watching our PS4 VR headset teardown. Also keep in mind, we've got several new videos coming up. The first is gonna be our PS4 Pro unboxing and teardown coming up this next week. So keep your eye on our channel for that. And please let me know if you have any other questions or comments about the VR headset or about our channel in general. Also, I've considered doing some videos about my repair shop here. I could do a video, you know, give you guys a tour of my shop and see exactly what we do here and that sort of thing. If there's interest, I could also do some videos about the business end, how to start a game repair shop, how much money it takes, that sort of thing. So if that's something you guys are interested in, just let me know in the comments and I'll get those made for you. Thanks again.